What's next for the JWST? If you're a space lover, then you would know that the JWST was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, space project of recent times. For one, we had different countries in the world, putting down their differences and pooling their resources together. The JWST wasn't just a sign of fidelity and unity. In a time when international relations are fragile, it was also a massive financial statement worth $10 billion. And on the 25th of December, 2021, the JWST launched off from the French Guiana. The JWST is easily the most powerful telescope ever to be launched, but what's next for this marvel after launching into space? If you're not too attuned with the space community, you should know that JWST is short for the James Webb Space Telescope. What's next for the JWST? Those who know a thing or two about the JWST know that a liftoff from the surface of the Earth isn't enough. To be able to fulfill its purpose of uncovering hidden discoveries in the farthest reaches of space, the JWST would have to get to a proper spot in space from where it can be operated. The JWST ticked this box on the 24th of January and is now 1.5 million kilometers away from planet Earth. Wow, that's too far away, right? Well, don't you worry about it. NASA and all the parties involved have it all in control. Now, the JWST would have to go through a series of processes to ensure that it's all ready and good to go. According to experts, this process will take well up to five months. But if the JWST is already in space, what process must be so exerting as to demand five whole months? Well, the web team will have to tick two huge boxes before the JWST is ready to start relaying images of all the planetary bodies and stars in space. The first box would be the perfect alignment of the web's 21.3 foot wide primary mirror. The primary mirror comprises of 18 hexagonal parts and they have to be aligned to perfection for the web to relay information properly. However, this is still a step too far as the JWST still has to cool before any of the team can work on it. But why is it so important that a machine with such levels of sophistication be required to cool first? Well, when you realize that the JWST reads information from space through infrared lights, you'd know that any signs of heat on the machine itself would compromise the clarity of its assignment. Now, after so much time, money, and skill put into the JWST, the last thing anyone would want is it failing on its assignment because its team couldn't follow due process. To test the alignment of the primary mirror, the team has focused the JWST on HD 84406, a sun-like star in the Ursa Major constellation. This process will take three months from the JWST's arrival at the Lagrange Point 2, a stable space around the sun. The alignment of the primary mirror is only one of the two major tasks that will make the JWST fully functional. The second one is to align the secondary mirror, which is 2.4 foot wide. The secondary mirror is designed to collect electromagnetic energy from the primary mirror and then relay such energy to the observatory's instruments. Everything will be all but ready after the completion of these tasks. The team will then have to focus their attention on their observatory instruments to ensure that they're sound and properly calibrated. This will also take its own chunk of time. Remember, the JWST is too expensive and important to be hurried. If we intend to get accurate results of planetary bodies millions of light years away, it's important that everything plays out by the book. With everything proceeding according to plan, experts speculate that the JWST's survey of deep space should kick off by late June or early July. Already, there's a full board of space observations for the year. When the JWST finally opens its eyes to space, it will have a boatload of work to do. As of April 21, 2022, NASA reported that the JWST is almost fully cooled. 
It won't be long now before we know for sure if there is life in other parts of the universe. Watch out for more space-related content on this channel. If you haven't dropped a like yet, be sure to leave one now. Hit the subscribe and notifications button as well, and keep your fingers crossed.